Hi, I'm Tassa Nopoli, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a body wash concentrate. Now, the really cool thing about a body wash concentrate is they're actually quite sustainable as you're not really using a lot of water when making them. The water gets added upon application. So when you're in the shower or the bath, you put a little bit of the concentrate in your hand and then the idea is to mix it with a bit of water. Um, so it's quite sustainable. It's really good to see a lot of companies are now, you know, using concentrates as a refillable option to be more sustainable. Now let me show you how easy it is to put together. Now to start off, I have here is my anionic surfactant. So I'm using the Eversoft ULS 30S. Now this is a really good gentle mild surfactant and I'm using it at quite a high input because it is a concentrate. Now to this, I'm gonna be adding some Genogen CAB. Uh, so this is an amphoteric surfactant. So this is gonna boost foam and also make it more mild. Now I am adding a little bit of diesel glucoside here. Again, this is gonna help uh, with the mildness because you need to keep in mind too that you are adding water upon application. Uh, so you should have directions on the back on how much water you need to uh, add to it. But it is ideal to make it as, as mild as possible. So also I'm gonna be adding a high input of some Merquat 550PR. So this is a poly quaternium seven. Uh, and this is gonna help condition the skin as well and also help with mildness. And we are using it at a high input because it is a concentrate. So you wanna make sure that, you know, with each pump or uh, each application, you're getting enough of each ingredient in there. That's why we're using it at a higher input. And we're just gonna give that one a stir. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and add uh, a gum. Uh, so add a bit, a little bit of viscosity and to stabilize my body wash. Now I'm gonna go in with some vedescent xanthan and I'm gonna be adding this to a, quite a high input of glycerin here. Now remember, um, with the polycot and the glyc and glycerin, we are using it at a high input because it is diluted upon you. So we, we need to increase the input to more than usual. And once you've got a nice smooth slurry here, we're just gonna add it to our surfactant base. And give that a good stir until the gum is homogenous. Now you do need to be careful with um, your surfactant samples, especially in the small lab samples, because um, you don't want to introduce too much air or bubbles as they do take time to go away. So we don't use high shear. If you are using any type of mixes, don't use uh, high shear mixes like homogenizers tend to stick to low shear. Um, because yeah, you will introduce too many bubbles or foam, which you can see it's hard in a small lab sample. So there is start, some starting to form now. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna be adding a fragrance here. So um, again, because it is a concentrate, so it is gonna be diluted upon use, I am gonna use a high input of fragrance more than usual. Otherwise it's not gonna smell any good or there won't really be any fragrance upon application. So I'm using a higher input than usual. And I'm also gonna use my preservative as well. Preservative input will also come down to the actual water content of your formula. So I'm not using any water directly, but there is water in my surfactants because they are diluted surfactants. So, so your preservative input will depend on that. Okay, so lastly, we are gonna check and adjust our final pH. Now, your final pH should be tested based on as use directions. So it does need to be pretty neutral or depending on the pH of the surfactants required. Okay, so as always, we are gonna cover and leave this the next day. And it will start to thicken up overnight as well. So this will be a bit more viscous. Now, depending on the surfactants that you do use, it can become quite thick. So you may need to play around with inputs um, because it can be 
too thick because it is a concentrate and there's no water to dilute or, or thin out the viscosity. So you may need to play around with the inputs. Now the type of packaging that we are seeing a lot with these concentrates are it will either be in a pump type of uh, packaging but we are actually seeing um, bags with a little nozzle on top that dispense them. I will show you a picture here on the side so you know what I'm talking about but we are seeing a couple of options here for packaging so either the bags which is perfect for refillable um, and also the, the pump. Okay, and here is what my body wash concentrate is looking like the next day. As you can see, it's thickened up quite a bit. So I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand here and add some water to it. It's foaming up really nicely. It's really nice and smooth as well. It's got really good slip to it. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a body wash concentrate. Perfect for sustainability and ease of use. Now, just to go over a few things, when it comes to a body wash concentrate, there's going to be little to no water in there. So you will need to take into careful consideration your preservative input. You'll need to use a high input of polyquaternions or other conditioning agents and humectants because it is diluted. So you will need to compensate for that when it's upon use. You will need to be careful with the surfactants that you use. Some surfactants will make it too thick, so you need to take that into consideration when it comes to your packaging as well. It needs to be easily dispensable for your consumers to use. Also remember, if you are gonna be adding a fragrance, you may need to add a little higher than usual, otherwise you will not get that smell because it is diluted. So you need to think about the smell and then also you need to consider the final pH as well. So it should be based on consumer use or upon application. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.